Right, hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this time on the Armored Jeep Roundabout, I have this unbranded diecast London taxi. Um, as you watch it go around, it's like hello to all your friends on the channel. Welcome back. Any recent joined friends or subscribers, welcome aboard. Uh, very much appreciate you joining. I hope you stick around to watch this video and all the other ones and comments and so on. So, there's another take I'm going to do, I've done a few already. Um, it's a little bit of play all here and there. So, um, yeah, we'll get on the, uh, on the bench and off the magic and have a good look at it. Right, here we go then. So, London Taxi. Made in China, unbranded, so I don't know who it is. Screw base fitting, which makes life easier. Right, but before we screwdriver get into that is. Right. I've done several corky ones and dinky ones before, but never an unbranded one, so who knows what lies in the store with this one. Plastic base off. Ooh, okay. It's one of these interiors. Okie dokie. There's your grill. Right, okay. It's a bit bumper off, don't need that. Have the axle. Right, so it's one of these interiors we've seen before from other models. Where the underside of the interior houses the axles here and here. So we can't really do much about chopping it in half and like we normally do on these. So just means we've got to leave the interior in. <laughs> Along the plastic base, you've got the other part of the axles housing here and here. So when the two are together, it'd be, be like that. Obviously, the axle is in place. So, okie dokie. Right. So, the glass panel should just. Let's set off the interior. Glass panel just pops out as normal. Uh, I think the doors come off as well. That's easy to stop. Lock pins there. I just got little holes there. Locating holes. Like so. There you go. And there you go. That's it. Right. The next stage is caustic soda bath time. Okie dokie. Right, okay, so this is the end result of a caustic soda bath. As you can probably see, not a great deal of an effort there. I left it in for about half an hour or so, and that's what came out. So, so I've washed it all off. Um, I've sanded down the bodywork to give it its sort of matte look, for something for a paint to stick to. Um, so I've already cut the wings off. On both sides there. Uh, right, so I'm going to get it all prepped up now, put door plates on, thin plate on the roof. Uh, but H frame, I don't know, I might be able to, because of this, set, this setup, I'm going to show you again. Uh, I think it's something like that. Yeah, you've got the, uh, 
the Helgen's here for the front and rear axles, so might be able to do something, might not. So I'm going to play that with this, see what I can do. So, so I'll get back to you when this is done. Right, actually, now I've got it all prepped up, ready for paint. I'm not going to bother the HRA this one because I've put the interior back in just to try something out. And to be honest, I think it's going to be too fiddly trying to work out correct lengths or the uprights, getting to fit between the roof and the interior floor. So, so when it comes to it, I'm put the interior back in as it is. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to do the next stage now, get it all painted up. I mean, you've seen me do this quite a few times now, so you don't need me to show you or explain everyone. So I will show you the result after the of course. Right, so, um, yeah, see you afterwards. Right, it's all painted up now, so I've got it dry overnight. And notice if you look carefully where I've painted over the original paintwork, where the paint is chipped and play worn, it makes it look like the body is like rusty and rotten places. Gives that a sort of effect, a rust effect. I'll show you a few more areas. That's where the door plates are. And again, you've got like peeling original paintwork right there, makes it look like it'd be rusty there too. Yeah, around the lights as well, a bit more there. And there's a tiny bit there, can't see where because of the light. I'll just turn it up. Yeah. Yeah, so it gives that a rust effect when paint over the original paintwork. Yeah, so there you go. As I said, I'm gonna dry overnight now. And then once it's dried, we can start putting it back together and just basically finishing it off. Okay. Right, I'm going to rebuild this taxi now. So as you can see, I left the uh, interior as it is, mainly because of the uh, evocating lungs, lugs even, for the axles. So I'm not going to bother putting the H-frame in this. So it should be quite a simple rebuild. So I'm going to put a dash back in. It came off easily. There we go, back in place. That's it. That's that. The rest of the interior. Should go back in, sort of, as it came out. Right, so. Because I've bolted the doors up, it's maybe a bit tricky to get back in if one go, so I might have to fight this. Don't know yet. I can get it underneath the door hinges. It's nearly there actually, nearly. It's almost in place. Just needs to go back a little bit further. Hang on, this? Here we go, I think we're there. That's it, back in place. That's it, we got there. Put the axles back in. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go, put down there. The base plate. Uh, right way around, I think. Just make sure the axles are straight. What we'll do first is because I've got the uh, these bits sticking on, I'm just going to cut those off quickly. Put 
what have we all got to do? Let's get it. Next one's back in place. back though for some reason don't know why quite a few axles as well actually can't really bend him too much right so we've got locating lugs on the base plate as well, so you've got to get them in line with the axles, basically. Right, it may take a little while. Right, so I'm going to sort them out off camera, and I'll show it afterwards. And there we go, back together now. So what I've done was, okay, so I've put the axles inside the lugs on the base plate, then lowered the body down onto them, and it fitted first time. So I thought, quickly while it's there, put the screws back in, job done. And there you go, got a bit of money. Right. I'm going to finish it off now with all the sign writing. So I prefer to do this on camera in case it goes horribly wrong. So I'll correct it off camera. So the next time you see is be back at the measure at the belt. So see you all there. Right, here we are then with this uh, unbranded Austin London taxi uh, in the colours of 149 Mr. Rumble. Um, not sure who the driver is because um, it was a photo that I copied from on one of the uh, Facebook groups. Uh, the photo was, was actually a Rover P5, but because I don't have any of those at the moment, uh, this taxi is probably better close I get to one of those. So, um, here you go, that's it. So, um, yeah, I do hope you like this video. Um, yeah, we'll reply to any comments underneath as usual. So, uh, yeah, until, as per usual, um, see you all for the next video. Stay safe, whatever you're doing, enjoy yourselves, and so on. And see you all next time. Bye for now.